Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to copy the artifacts or files from one job to another job in Jenkins. For example, if we have job 1 and job 2, if job 2 needs the artifacts or files from job 1, job 1 can upload the artifacts to the repository managers like Nexus, Artifactory, etc. and job 2 can download from repository manager. In the second way, without using the repository manager, we can copy the files or artifacts from job 1 to job 2 using Jenkins plugin. In this video, we would use the second method where we will use the Jenkins features or plugins to copy the artifacts. This can be done using freestyle jobs or Jenkins pipelines. So now we will use the freestyle job. In the next video, we will implement the same using Jenkins pipeline. Let us start. So this is our Jenkins instance. So let us create the first job. Let us name as test job 1. And this is a freestyle project. And click on OK. So for this demo, we will not use any source code management. And let us go to the build steps. As part of the build, we will generate an example artifact. So for this, we already have one example project here. So this is a Maven project. We will do the build of this project in the job 1. So the path is example 1 here. So let us copy this path. So let us add the steps in the build steps. So here we need to select execute shell. So let us go to the directory where we have the Maven project. Here we will run the Maven build process. Let us save the job configuration and test this job. So we can see the console output of this build. So here we can see that the build is successful and it has generated a jar file my test app dot job file. So if you want to use this artifact in other jobs, then we need to archive this artifact. So for that, let us configure the job again. So for archiving the artifacts, we need to click on post build actions. And in the post build action, we need to select archive the artifacts. So here we need to mention what files we are going to archive. So this step will archive the files relative to the workspace path. For that, we need to copy the required artifacts to the workspace before mentioning corresponding paths. So let us do that. So let us create a directory in the workspace. So here we are creating an output directory in the workspace and we will copy the artifact to this output directory. So once this jar is copied, now let us archive this artifact as part of the post build actions. So we need to mention output here because that is relative to workspace. And here we mention my test app dot jar, which is getting generated as part of the build process. So let us apply and save this job. So it is saying output does not exist. So it will be created as part of the build process. So let us save this configuration. So now we are building again. So now the build process is completed. And also we can see here the output directory is created. And the jar file is copied to the output directory. And also the archiving the artifacts also is successful. So now we can verify that artifact here. Here we can see that the build artifacts contains my test.app jar. So now let us create a second job which will use the archived artifact in the first job. So before creating a test job 2, we need to install a copy plugin in Jenkins to copy the artifacts from one job to another job. So for that, let us go to manage Jenkins. So here we need to select the plugins and we have to click on available plugins. There search for copy plugin. So here we need to select this copy artifact plugin and install without restart. Now the plugin is installed successfully. So now let us create a new job and we will use this plugin to copy the artifact from the previous job. So let us create a job now. And this is a freestyle project. So here in the build steps. So here we can see there is a step called copy artifacts from another project. So let us choose this. Here we need to provide the project name from which we are copying the artifact. So let us select test job 1 here. So generally we select latest successful build. But also we have like multiple options here. 
So for this demo, let us choose the latest successful build. Here we need to mention what are the artifacts we have to copy. If we give this as blank, then all the artifacts which are produced by the first job will be copied. Generally, the source jobs may produce multiple artifacts. So we may need to specify the individual artifacts here. For that, we need to get the required paths of the artifacts to be copied. So to identify the paths of the artifacts, so we have to go to the build of the source job. So this is the second build. So let us click on it. So after this build URL, so we need to specify artifact. So this path will give us all the required paths of the artifacts. So our jar file is present in the output directory. That means when we want to specify this jar file path, so we have to specify output slash my test app dot jar. So here I need to specify output. So this is the path of the jar file which will be copied. We can also specify multiple files here by providing comma. So we can also specify other things like artifacts not to be copied and also the target directly in the job too. So let us leave these as default. So now to verify whether the file is copied, let us create a new build step. So here I am selecting execute shell. So in this step, let us go to the workspace and let us see what are the files in the workspace. So since the file will be copied to the output directory, so we can go to the workspace output as well. And there also let us verify the files. So these steps are sufficient to verify. So let us apply this configuration and save it. So now let us execute the job. So here the job is successful. Let us verify the console output. So this is the workspace of the job too. There is an output directory. And then we went to the output directory in the workspace. And here we can see that the file is copied successfully. So this way we can copy the files from one job to another job using the archival process in job 1 and using Jenkins copy plugin in job 2. I hope this video helps. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.